for a while I've been running this um, standard back box and uh, it's kind of hitting um, it can't, not always but sometimes it's kind of hitting the um, back of my car and uh, making a noise some scraping noise and stuff depends on where it ends up but what I've done is I've got this uh, M2 exhaust it's been on the car before you might have seen a video about it but I'm just going to drop this back box off um, because the noise from it is a bit suppressed it's not really sporty sounding and I'm um, going to just try this one again and uh, it's very very simple to do it so all we need to do is come underneath here put the car on axle stands and jack it up using the tow hitch and then here you've just got two bolts which are spring bolts there undo them and then you just need to push off the uh, rubber uh, mount there and uh, it should be willing to come out so let's uh, give it a go I think it's actually got two mounts uh, one there and then there's one around here uh, it's very simple to do and uh, let's get going as what often happens with these bolts one came out and the uh, proper spring bolt snapped it's not a big issue I'll show you how to get that out now but it's uh, still in the mid take care of that snap bolt in a bit you can see the remnants are there um, so that means this whole back box is pretty much free to come out there and then I'm just gonna get off these two hooks one and two I've got a special tool to do that with and it's this one here and it's got a nice little plunger and the little fork bit and it does a great job of taking these off before I take it off I'm just going to show you the kind of noise it's making it's doing that kind of thing just uh, it's a little bit long here on the bracket I could obviously cut that but I think it's because I've got a non-standard midsection and uh, that's why it's just forcing this whole exhaust a bit further back um, but either way uh, let's take it off now here's the tool in use so you've got the plunger there, the fork behind it, you just squeeze these handles together and basically it comes off nicely. When you've got really tight spaces you can use these little hooks and I'll show you what that looks like. You're basically just putting it up in here and put it in where the peg goes and then pull the, uh, the actual peg off the rubber. That really was a bit more involved so I just took out those uh, two hanger bits from uh, that triangle bungee thing there hanger and then I could just get this in here and just pull this out this really was uh, way too tight because of the length of the midsection anyway we're out now now I'm gonna have to do something about this so what I'm gonna do is undo that with some uh, mole grips one or the other and uh, I'm going to need to buy one of these donuts because this is completely knackered. Got the mole grips on there. Luckily, it started moving a bit. Get a bit of WD. On there, and let's just wind them out. Right, cool. It's uh, out. You can see this is the bit that snapped. That's where I've been holding onto with the grips. And uh, that's how you do that. So now we just need to get another one of these um, donuts. Let's see if I've got one. What a state this one's in. Look at that. Snapped in half. So we've been stopped today by that uh, donut. I'll just buy one, then uh, get it sent to me. But in the meantime, I just spread a little bit of WD 40 or silicon, whatever you want, on the uh, rubbers. And then you can just uh, pop them in and out much easier. They don't start sticking on those two pegs. So I'll just pop that up. So I don't want to leave, leave it on the ground forever and uh, yeah we'll resume this in a bit. Taking up from where we left off and um, I've actually bought some of these um, donut gaskets because this one's failed. This is the kind of uh, compressed, it almost looks like compressed foil, they're quite weird looking things even when they're new. This is like the graphite type. I've never actually used this type before, and in those ones, and they fail quite quickly. So these were just about the same price. I'll have to try and remember how much it cost, but maybe it was like five pounds. 
got these, which are the same old springs, um, but this time I'm going to just use these bolts rather than those spring bolts, which are meant for the job because basically they end up snapping and these are brand new bolts. So I'm just going to basically put it in. I'm going to copper slip these with the aim that possibly they won't snap next time, that you never quite know. And then I'm going to go underneath here and uh, where the exhaust is up there. I'm just going to wire brush um, any remaining debris or rust or whatever that's on there um, just so this uh, new gasket will go on there nicely. So you can see up there it's uh, not too bad but I may as well just try and get rid of any of the big bits of rust and clean that up. So that's all kind of cleaned up. I'm um, just going to put a bit more WD-40 on these bushes just so it slips in nicely and uh, then I'm going to copper slip these um, bolts and then just get the thing up and ready for those bolts to go in. So the easiest thing will be just to take the midsection down a bit um, just so I thread the uh, exhaust in because uh, as it stands it's all very close to it and you don't really have the space to get these uh, hangers in so just quickly pop that off the middle triangle hanger there. So that's down there and this is in on both sides. Now I can just connect the mid pipe back in position into the other side of this back box. So that's on there on two points of the uh, triangular hanger there. Now I'm just going to put the two 13 mils in that I've already pre cough slipped. So with this exhaust, it kind of worked out best to drop that hanger first so you can. Uh, not have too much space between this uh, top bolt. So I'm just going to get them started, then I'm going to pop it up and then tighten them up finally. That's it all up in place. So don't forget those washers as well. You'll need them so the bolt doesn't make its way down the spring. So that's uh, doing a job, and they're a lot cheaper than those spring bolts as well.